why kids pick on other kids. And there's not just one reason. Usually all different kinds of kids have this experience. Never wonder where bullying stems from. Well, NBC's The Apprentice may not be helping things. Listen to this comment and decide for yourself. Richard's hat had big roses or something on the hat. And I was like, damn, Richard, that's a really gay hat. But that's you. That's a really gay whoop, hat. But that's you. And that's part of our bullying problem right there. Thoughtless comments like, that's a gay, gay bleep hat. Why do producers choose to include that offensive remark? They have hundreds of hours of footage to pick from. If it were a racial or a gender slur, would it have been left on the cutting room floor? Did the producers choose to keep that gay comment in because they think it's socially accepted speech? And that wasn't the only hit openly gay contestant Richard Hatch had to take on last night's The Apprentice. He's unbelievably yes, he intelligent, is. but at the same time, I have to say, he raised no money, gotta do it. Richard, you're fired. to Jody Blanco, anti-bullying expert and author of Please Stop Laughing at Me. Uh, Jody, what is the subliminal or not so subliminal takeaway here? The subliminal takeaway is that adults are hypocrites. I travel the nation's schools where adults are constantly telling kids, be sensitive, don't use racial slurs, don't discriminate, be tolerant. Adults across America are telling kids to think before you speak, but then we have a major primetime television show that seems to glorify not thinking before you speak. And I know that, I know that perhaps little John didn't mean anything cruel by his remark, but the fact of the matter is, Jane, you don't have to mean to be cruel in order to be cruel. And what that says to kids is that we want you to do as we say, but not as we do, which is being insensitive. It's a horrible precedent and for kids. It should it was, never have been included. It was exactly the kind of speech that Dateline NBC condemned in a recent expose. They actually placed hidden cameras in a school gym. Mm -hmm. The coach, bullies, and victims were actors using gay slurs comment in bullying situations. There were some real kids there and they wanted to see how the real kids would react. Yeah. Now, here's how those bystanders reacted. Watch this. Sure. The actors get aggressive. I don't want it like that. And the real boys don't seem to know what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them how gay you're being right now. All right, Wayne Besson, executive director of Truth Wins Out. You see the expose where they're uh, pointing out how problematical this kind of language is. How is that different from what Little John said last night on Celebrity Apprentice? Well, it's not that different. You know, these bullies are getting these ideas that they can push LGBT students around from somewhere. And 90% of students who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender feel that they're being bullied. And I think it's time that adults take more responsibility and not make such comments because it's filtering down and young people are getting brutalized in school. And it's hard to hit the books when you're getting hit in the face by bullies. Yeah, uh, and here's my big issue with all this. Is it part of a bullying mindset? This way of thinking, this way of speaking, results in bullying. That's according to the experts. So why wasn't this issue discussed on the show? It was said, but it was not addressed. That's the problem there. Does it send the message that it's okay to use the word gay in a less than flattering manner? I mean, it certainly didn't sound like Lil John was complimenting Richard Hatch or his hat, okay? Well, However, when Meatloaf went ballistic all right, and blew up and had a temper tantrum at his apprentice teammate, Gary Busey, that was addressed in Trump's board meeting because they felt it was controversial. Okay, well, but it's a double. that's a gay bleep hat. Okay, that's mm -hmm. not yep. addressed. Uh, Lisa Bloom, do you see a double standard here? Absolutely, Jane. I would like to see the figurehead of the show, Donald Trump, call him out on the show for this kind of behavior. We are in the middle of a gay teen suicide epidemic. Words have consequences. Words hurt. And kids watch this show, go out into the schoolyard the next day and say that's so gay to some kid in the school who gets very upset and hurt by it because they're still learning about their identity. I don't say they should have censored it, but they should have dealt with it and they should have smacked him down for making that comment. Exactly. He said it. 
and they should have addressed it, especially given the fact that Richard Hatch is an out gay person who was fired on last night's episode. Just last right. week. Right there on issues. In too. Yeah, hold on one second, though. I want to I cover this. It's such an important uh, aspect of the story, because just last week here on Issues, we told you about that young girl who says she's tormented by bullies, and she created that viral YouTube video holding up signs about her painful ordeal. By the way, tonight at 9, Dr. Drew premieres here on HLN. He has an exclusive interview with this brave girl and her mom. So please tune in uh, to all of Dr. Drew's insights on the story. But here's a sneak peek. Check this out. Do you have any sense why you were bullied or why you were the target? You know, a lot of people have told me that when somebody bullies someone else, it's because they're jealous or they're insecure. And I think they are insecure about themselves, which I feel bad for them. But yet again, they shouldn't be bullying anyone. It completely needs to end. It should not be tolerated anywhere or with anyone. Hats off, Allie. God bless you. Uh, I mean, you're, you're courageous on courageous. And she also said that in her sign, she said that she was called names uh, for uh, being gay. So we are learning the girls' town is now hosting a teen turmoil session on bullying. And, I mean, it does raise a very good example just last week that this young woman said that she was bullied and harassed by students who use this kind of language that was aired without any commentary on last night's Celebrity Apprentice. Jim Oregon, your question or thought? Yeah, Jay, I want to say hi to you. I love Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Anyways, we watch these shows with all this violence that kids are seeing, whether it be bullying or fighting, and finally somebody was arrested on, I think, the Teen Mom show for assault. When are the police going to be standing outside like the Jerry Springer show, arrest arresting all of those people for assaulting each other day after day after day when it's on film, camera, you know, everybody sees that. It just gets the young kids I under Listen, I understand what you're saying. I'm not talking about arresting anybody here. What I'm talking about is um, what is socially accepted language on television and why is that just something that's said and never addressed when if somebody made a racially insensitive comment or a blatantly sexist comment uh, that would be addressed. Substitute is any word, liberty. any word instead of the word gay and I guarantee you somebody would have said something about it Wayne. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But a lot of people think it's the moral thing to do to insult gay and lesbian people. We see that all the time from the pulpit and from parents. And when people try to dress this bigotry up with morals and values, as we see um, with TV preachers all the time, it gives people license, I think, to pick on and bully uh, LGBT teenagers. Yeah, and we don't want to equate a casual comment. Go ahead, go ahead. And I also want to jump in, Jane, there's a larger perspective here. With shows like The Apprentice, there's all kinds of bullying going on on that show. You know, they're gossiping about each other, they're laughing at each other, and it, it, it makes it seem to kids, it's okay. We're now, just wait a second, I'm not going to knock the whole kindness. show. I was actually watching the show last night and enjoying it quite a bit because it is a very good psychological <laughs> analysis of how people respond to pressure. Mm -hmm. But it upset me and it kind of soured the show for me because I was like, where did that come from and yeah. why wasn't it addressed? So and Jane, I was, yeah, go ahead. And, and Jane, you know, you say, you know, the producers had a lot of hours of footage to choose from and that's true, but don't discount the possibility that they even fanned the flames because you know as well as I do in reality shows, a lot of this stuff is scripted, even though it's not scripted. They encourage the participants to really go after each other. If they have a bias, yes, they voice the bias. But they, they, they have, have a responsibility if plans. something's homophobic, racist, blatantly sexist to raise it as an issue and not let it skate by. They should have. Yes. Danger. All right, it's thank you, fantastic.